Hello, this is Dr. Prasad Putiyallam, continuing the class series on uh, research, uh, research methodology uh, that is 21 RMI 56, which is offered by Visheshara Technological University to all the affiliated uh, institutions, uh, all the engineering branches, BE in any of the stream, they have to study, they have to under, uh, undergo this particular subject course. Uh, called research methodology and intellectual property rights so this is the seventh video class of uh, module one so i'm covering it with the possible question answers okay so this is the uh, syllabus which is uh, given uh, as per the university syllabus i'm highlighting the course outcome because nowadays it is outcome based uh, education the students should know what is the outcome of after studying this particular subject what exactly they are supposed to learn or what, what they will learn if they get um, uh, complete this course. Okay, so that also considered while preparing the questions and uh, it has been uh, referred uh, the textbook which is mentioned in the syllabus that is Dipankar Dev, Rajiv Dev and uh, Valentina Ambala's engineering research methodology. So if you type that uh, uh, as such in Google, you will be getting the uh, PDF uh, note, the ebook will be available, or you can go to that uh, uh, link which is mentioned there. That link will not be available for you as such. Okay, you can search it and you can uh, download that textbook, uh, it is available freely downloadable. Okay, you can go through that. I am also going through only that textbook, therefore, I have not prepared separate uh, study material for that. Uh, referring that only, I am giving, I am um, explaining and based on the my experience, research experience. <laughs> Okay, so question number uh, one uh, of this particular question number one, seventh question actually, or seventh topic of this uh, module that is ethics in engineering uh, research practice. Uh, explain the significance of engineering ethics in research, particularly in the context of uh, data related technologies, and how engineering researchers can proactively address ethical concern during the development of development technology okay so that is a question uh, that is connecting connected to the course outcome one course outcome one is already mentioned here to know the meaning of engineering research that is the course outcome one so it is connected to course outcome one means after understanding this question and getting the answer for that you are understanding what is that research okay so then uh, real life impact of engineering research Okay, so these are the answer keys which are uh, mentioned here, real time uh, life impact of engineering research, uh, data and its uh, ethical dimensions, balancing possibilities, the role of engineering research which with further subjecting and setting ethical requirements, ethical considerations in design, choosing ethical alternatives, uh, mitigating uh, unintegrated uh, consequences. These are the terms which I took from um, the textbook based on this particular uh, topic. Okay, so ethics play a very crucial role in engineering research uh, where the technological advancements uh, it can impact the people's life. So engineers they often uh, they work on uh, projects with a significant uh, uh, the real world implication or applications in the real world uh, usages. Uh, if you take an example, uh, so, uh, in the development of a, a surveillance system the uh, collection or the utilization of data uh, it have uh, far uh, it has some consequence far reaching consequences are there so this system can be used for uh, a legitimate uh, security purpose such as monitoring the public spaces to prevent crime but still however they are can be used for uh, uh, also checking the individual uh, individual's privacy privacy rights okay so privacy rights if they are not it's not properly regulated it will be affecting the individual person's privacy that cannot be done so this ethical dilemma of uh, using uh, new technology as well as the other uh, humanitarian based uh, uh, topics when they mix together that becomes an ethical dilemma it becomes evident when considering scenarios like the use of uh, facial recognition technology in the public areas where the uh, balance between security and the person privacy is becomes a critical concern okay so uh, 
when engineers conduct research uh, they often deal with the data and technology which can affect the individuals and society as a whole okay so this is one of the point which um, i'm giving uh, uh, which you can note down uh, okay because this is the one which i took from the textbook as a important point uh, under this particular topic so you need to write note it down uh, and you can uh, develop further with your own uh, uh, way of reading the textbook this is what i took from that one okay so uh, second point says that uh, for example if i think the surveillance which i said which collect the data for a security purpose this data it can be used uh, to raise ethical concern regarding the privacy of the people, uh, privacy of. then data and its ethical uh, dimensions uh, one of the key uh, 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 reason uh, or the, when we say about uh, data and ethical dimension i would like to tell that uh, we are in an era of uh, big data okay big data analytics analytics so engineers they frequently work with uh, vast databases which often include uh, personal information for example if i say considering the healthcare industry where electronic health records are collected and uh, analyzed for medical research ethical consideration in this context uh, involve ensuring the anonymity and uh, security of a patient's data obtaining informed uh, consent for research and uh, addressing potential biases which may arise from the data collection process so the varying ethical um, perspectiveness of the stakeholders uh, stakeholders like uh, the patients or researchers uh, regulatory bodies uh, underscoring uh, under which underscore the complexity of uh, ethical decision making in engineering research uh, while handling this type of uh, sensitive data okay so one key reason in ethics which matters in engineering research is especially when dealing with the data because this data often it involves humans different situations and people may have varying views on what is acceptable or not it is essential to consider these ethical aspects as they can significantly impact uh, how data is used and uh, the consequences that follow uh, then uh, regarding uh, balancing the possibilities and uh, ethics okay so the technology it is rapidly advancing uh, which provides uh, engineers with uh, 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 un uh, unexpected or unprecedented uh, 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 capabilities to collect the uh, data to analyze the data utilize the data <coughs> Uh, but still however uh, the ability to do something uh, it uh, does not uh, make it ethical uh, for example uh, when we discuss about the artificial intelligence this is the one which is very much a suits uh, the example which suits engineers can develop uh, algorithms to which it makes them uh, capable of predicting uh, a person's individual's uh, behavior based on their online activities okay so now the ethical question here will be whether this particular capability can be used for uh, targeted advert advertising or personalization of the contents or even uh, influencing um, uh, a person's decision Okay, these are the possibilities when we know their uh, behavior online behavior and we get uh, so one can uh, send it to a company for the advertisement purpose so they can identify the person and uh, they can force if uh, they can uh, make uh, a person to change the decision accordingly so engineering ethics it play a very crucial role in uh, uh, guiding engineer to uh, critically evaluate uh, such a moral implications uh, of using such a, a technology which is a, a newer technology okay so today we have access to a vast amount of uh, data and advanced tools to analyze it so which raises an important question just because we can do something uh, 
with the data should we do it or not okay so the engineering ethics it provides uh, uh, the guidelines on how to determine what actions are morally acceptable and uh, which are not um, acceptable the next one the role of engineering uh, researchers uh, the engineers they are often uh, they are the they are the forefront people of the uh, technological innovations so their decisions uh, it can shape the, the technological uh, the, even the direction of the technological advancements it will impact the society in a very large scale if you take an example uh, the autonomous vehicle uh, development engineering researchers and uh, even the developers uh, they must make uh, some of the ethical uh, choices regarding the safety standard or uh, whether prioritizing uh, the situation where a, a collision or accident happens that is decision making uh, algorithms by the vehicle itself autonomous vehicle means it has to take the decision whether to go hit or not okay whether accidents cases how it prioritizes whether how to avoid that accident which one is better whether hitting is better or skidding is better that decision making because people human beings when we drive we will come across such situations in which either we have to go away from the road to save something how or uh, which considering that momentary uh, reflexes uh, with the persons uh, may make the decision immediate decision will come and uh, will drive accordingly if it is hitting is better uh, and uh, saving uh, better or uh, less uh, impact or uh, loss uh, then we have to hit uh, uh, or uh, skidding or escaping uh, that uh, decision uh, algorithms uh, may not do as such uh, at the individual persons situation and the data privacy concerns from uh, which is taken by the uh, sensors on board sensors it will be taking the data from that okay so these are the uh, where the engineer has a role they are not separate from a border technological development uh, happening in uh, society they make choices which have ethical implications and influences the technology's effects some of the way to do such things are ethical requirements right from the beginning a researcher can define ethical requirement for their project these requirements it will guide the development of technology and ensures that it aligns with the ethical principles during the decision or as a designing phase the researcher make decisions about how to fulfill project requirements ethical aspects such as safety and fairness should be part of this decision making process choosing ethical alternatives a researcher often face choices between uh, different alternatives that achieves similar goals they must weigh these options from an ethical standard uh, standpoint and select the one that aligns with the moral principles now mitigating unintended unintended consequences okay so unintended uh, uh, consequences uh, it says that the engineering research uh, it can lead to unintended side effects so it's a ethical duty of a researcher to minimize this risk and uh, consider safer alternatives this may involve uh, designing technologies with uh, built in safety measures for backup systems to prevent any harm which is happening to that okay so that about uh, module 1 part 7 hope i made uh, some of the points important points considering the textbook which is given there as a reference so questions will be coming from that textbook so point wise i am giving up a, each point in the syllabus i am making is a, as a, a 10 mark question and i am giving the uh, short note here okay student uh, 
need to uh, note it down uh, that uh, whatever uh, points given and if my explanation if something uh, gives an added uh, information to that i am very uh, grateful uh, uh, if um, i will be very feel proud about uh, my presentation if not at least uh, made you gave you the, the important points which you can uh, uh, highlight and uh, you can we can remember and we can uh, write uh, as such so thank you very much for watching my youtube channel please do subscribe my youtube channel and support uh, this is my youtube channel my intuition 4865 once again thank you very much